Welcome everyone, you have the black screen of death in your Google Pixel 8 Pro. Now mine, you know, I've tapped the screen, it's working, but you can't wake the screen up, the buttons don't work, charging isn't doing anything. So the first solution, there are two total, is we need to initiate a force restart. So to initiate a force restart, we need to press and hold both power and volume up key together and we need to hold these two together for 15 seconds. So I'm going to press and hold these two buttons. Let's do this one together. And I'm going to start in three, two, one. Press and hold power volume up. On your ends, you will not see the screen wake. So just keep on holding these two buttons. What this will do is it will forcefully shut off the phone and then it will forcefully shut it back on. So 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, and now release from both power and volume up. And now let's be patient and let's see if the Google logo is going to show up. So we see the Google logo, excellent. If the first uh, solution worked, great. If the first solution did not work, then your Google Pixel may have been dropped or and a component such as the battery or the display has been unplugged. Before we attempt the second fix, please do just try charging the phone for half an hour, verify the charger works by using another device, and then unplug the charger and repeat step one. So let's do the second solution. If you just know for a fact it's not a software flaw, which the first fix is for. So solution number two, is we need to get the component or the cable which unplugged back into the plugged position. So we, we're not going to disassemble the phone because I will just break it. You'd probably break it. But what we can do is we can use two fingers here and we're going to tap really hard on the screen. So we're going to go all the way around. So I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to tap really hard. Okay, my screen's waking, of course, yours will not. And by tapping really hard, you're not going to break anything. But if there's a cable that unplugged, maybe after a drop or you can just unplugged on its own, by tapping really hard here, hopefully that will connect. Then we're going to do the same thing on the back. So we're just going to tap really hard on the back, add maximum force while you are doing this. And of course, make sure you are on a flat surface where if the screen is face down, it's not going to cause any damage. And we're going to tap around the camera lens as well. And then we're going to tap around the top of the phone as well. And then we're going to do a massage. So we're going to get our two thumbs. And we're going to add maximum pressure. We're just going to push to the center. And add maximum force. We're trying to connect that cable that's unplugged. Just keep on going here. Like this. There we go. And then repeat the same for the front. Just press and hold to the center. Just keep on doing this. And any moment now we should be done. There we go. So most likely, if this solution will work for you, you will have felt a clicking sound while doing this. You may not always feel that clicking sound, but once we have done this, we now need to just place the phone in the charger for maybe half an hour. And then once you've charged, unplug the phone from the charger and then repeat that same force restart procedure, which is holding power and volume up for 15 seconds. And then once the force restart is done, hopefully, you should see life, you should see the Google logo. So my phone's already working, so I will see the logo. Even if this sounds a little bit crazy, this solution, I've seen people in the comments say they've tried it, it works, because after a drop, sometimes the cable will just unplug and you can just force it back in place by adding pressure. So we see the Google logo here, great. If you've tried all the solutions, you still can't get your phone to work, then you will need to take it into repair. If your phone is under a year old, you've got warranty on your side, 
even if you like drop the phone, they're not going to know, okay, as long as there's no like actual physical damage. But let's say you drop the phone into water and they're going to tell with that case, but it's always worth trying. The worst case is they reject your warranty or they ask for a repair charge. And in that case, you would have to pay the repair charge. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.